Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Monday, December the 27th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Sagittarius? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Sagittarius. Spirit. The hangman. Meditation, spirituality. First card out. Six of Swords. Swords are Erangy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Swords talks about moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. This may have been a painful cycle, but you are moving on. What is crossing this? Queen of Swords, the Ice Queen. Swords are Erangy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. If you not bring the Queen of Swords honest, clear communication, she will use this sword and she will cut you right out of her life. She makes head over heart decisions. However, if you are honest and clear with the Queen of Swords, she will be very loving and very loyal. Consciously known. Seven of Cups. Options in love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have, you're probably talking to uh, more than one person. More than one person is talking to you. You have, you have uh, more than one interested party. This is talking about having options in love. Unconscious. The Empress. Libra and Taurus energy. The Empress. She is independent, divine feminine, sitting in her throne. Look at the gorgeous throne. Sitting in her power, knows her worth, doesn't get out of her throne for anybody or anything. Always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Also, um, new passionate ideas regarding hobbies, ways to make money. She's got a great scepter and her beautiful fan. Recent past. Four cups. Cups are water energy. Counts Pisces Scorpio. Looks like someone broke your heart. This person is sad, apathetic, indifferent. Looking at the three spilled cups, but there's always the source is always trying to give you a cup of self love. You need to love yourself before you can love anybody else, and you gotta love yourself before anyone can love you. Near future. Ooh, new love. Ace of Cups. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. See the hearts, eyes, and nose. There's a dragonfly right here. New love. New love coming in for you. Where do you find yourself? Ooh, ten cups. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. Ten of Cups talks about ultimate abundance and love. I like the blue because it's water. Cups are water energy. This is the happy couple. Children if you want. Pets if you want. The house. Look at the little heart on the house. Property. Ultimate abundance and love. External influences. The world. The end of a cycle. End of a cycle. A new cycle is beginning. Hopes and or fears. Seven of Pentacles, the money tree. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles, of course, are money. I like the skull ab abacus. This is watering your money and watching it grow. And overall outcome, the tower. Something has, been, has crashed down around you. This is a cataclysmic change. Source, spirit, universe. Strikes down the tower because it was not built on a firm foundation. 
Once the tower falls, you can rebuild, but on a f solid foundation this time. Bottom of the deck, the hangman. Hangman talks about meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul, and sometimes you need to look at things from a different perspective in order to figure them out. Santa Muerta, Scorpio energy is talking about death and rebirth. This is the end of a painful cycle. This has been a painful cycle. This may have been a karmic cycle here with this heartbreak and moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. I feel like you cut someone out of your life. So death and rebirth, like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon, a painful cycle has ended and a new cycle is coming. Oh, you're waiting for someone. Three of wands. Wands are fire energy. There is Leo Sagittarius. This talks about waiting for something or possibly someone. Remember, you did have options in love here. You may have your eye on somebody. The lovers. Soulmate energy. Look at that. This is Gemini energy. Looks like true love is coming in for you. I like this lover's card. There's only two people. There's got this beautiful silver heart uh, commitment box. The key or the toothpaste with wings. Soulmates, divine counterparts. We did have new love here. And we have the king of money. King of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The king of pentacles. He's got his big chest of money. He is independent, ground and balance, stable, a business person, makes his own money, takes care of his money. The king of money. So we had lots of endings. Moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. Queen of Communication, Options in Love, The Empress, Independent Divine Feminine Energy, Ace of Cups, Ultimate Abundance in, Ultimate Abundance in Love, End of a Cycle, The Money Tree, Santa Muerta, The End of a Painful Cycle, The Beginning of a New One, Waiting for something or someone. Soulmates. King of money. I have some endings here. Moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. Looks like you got your heart broken in the past. End of a cycle. We had a... The, the tower has fallen. You're rebuilding. You were caught between a rock and a hard place. Oracle cards. By the book. I feel like... Instead of buy the book, I'm saying write your own story. New life. We had lots of endings. Lots of endings. This is the fool taking a leap of faith, a new journey. I love it. Yang. Divine masculine. Yin, yang. Yep. Love cards. I had to think for a minute there. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You know how I feel about that. I think everybody's personal spiritual path is different than everybody else's. Majors, the lovers, Gemini energy. We had the lovers twice here. And 
And bar and the fool. You had new life, lots of endings. The fool start of a beautiful new journey. I like it. So, moving out of choppy waters. Queen of Swords, options in love, divine feminine, independent energy, new love, ultimate abundance in love. We had um, end of a journey, the money tree, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle, the king of money, the lovers. By the book, write your own story to me. Divine Masculine, and didn't we have new life? Pretty sure we had new life. <clears throat> Keep an open mind. Stay optimistic about your love life, religious factors, and yes, here was new life. New life, the lovers, and the fool. A new life. A new life. Right, Sagittarius. Have a great evening. I will speak to you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Bye for now.